hello again. What if I suggested to you to go out on the town, get all dressed up, and dance to your heart's content as if nobody was watching? You know why? Because it can help to make you a better athlete. It's true. And that brings us to step number three, infusing fun into your sport and into your life. Do you know a lot of people actually have trouble having fun because they think everything has to be done before they can go and play. But we all know everything is never done. And so we have to allow ourselves to be able to go out and play. Having fun is actually a necessity. It's not a luxury. It's good for the mind. It's good for the body. It's good for the soul. And we know that there's health benefits to it as well. It can uh, reduce, help, help to increase your immune system. It can reduce stress and anxiety, and that really helps in letting go of our self-doubts. It can also improve our memory and our concentration. And for me, I get more energy, I have less aches and pains, and I am happy. So think about this. Let's take a fun factor inventory. How much fun are you actually having these days? And when is the last time that you had a really good belly laugh? And how about doing things spontaneously? Think about it. It's really important that we do have fun. If you're having a challenge with that, I highly recommend that you actually make an appointment with yourself to have fun. Yes, you put it on your calendar and then sometimes we even have to set the alarm to remind ourselves uh, to go out and to have that fun. And I decided at one point, you know what? Every day is a celebration. We're so fortunate every day to have such a beautiful life. And one great way to really have fun with that for many people is to listen to music. I love music. And actually, I take the guitar, electric guitar, to top it off. Yes, here it is. Can you believe it? And I'm having the time of my life. I take three classes at MATC, and I totally enjoy the people that I'm with, and I'm learning all the time. I walk out of that class, and I am just so happy. I'm so excited, and I've had a great time. A great time. So I encourage you to do the same. Go and find whatever it is that really makes you happy. One of the great ways to do that is to participate in the Senior Olympics. There are so many people that are really a lot of fun to be around. And sometimes I hear, oh, well, you know, I'm really not all that good at my sport, or I'm afraid. Guess what? We all were. And you don't have to be perfect. You only have to show up. And once you're there, everything changes. And fear doesn't exist when you're having fun, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, some people say, oh, well, I had hip surgery or I had knee surgery. That's okay. Go to our website. We have a tutorial to help you strengthen. And then I hear, oh, I'm too young. You know, this is senior citizens. And I also hear, I'm too old. Our sport is available to people anywhere from 40 to 100 plus and we're all having a great time. And a lot of times I think people get old when they retire simply because they don't have the, the social connection and they become inactive. Don't be one of those people. You also might be a mom stay at home or you might be alone and feeling disconnected. Remember what we learned in our new mindset that when we join together, we are no longer alone. We're a part of the Senior Olympics. And it's a wonderful feeling. And if anybody doubts whether they can do that or they're too old, boy, do I have a story to share with you. The person's name is Edith, and she is just a delight. And she competed, and she is 94 years old. I'm going to let her share her great story because you won't even believe it. Here's our Edith. Over the 10 years, I accumulated 29 medals, and that is more than Michael Phelps. <laughs> he has 
already 27. <laughs> is that real gold that you have? No, yeah. mine, is, mine is not real gold either. <laughs> When, when the sun shines or the light shines on it, it is gold. <laughs> Can you believe it? Edith won 29 medals. And even if those medals aren't the real gold, Edith sure is. She is an absolute treasure to all of us. So think about what you're going to do to go out and have fun. One of the things that you can do is when you reach a short-term goal, go out and celebrate with your friends. And as always, the best people to be having fun with are our family and our friends. We can be cooking with them. We can be gardening. It doesn't necessarily have to be related to your sport. One of the things that I love to do, particularly since we've been having some restrictions, is to get into my convertible, drop that top down, and turn on the music, and I will sing to my heart's content. And I keep driving up north until I find a river. Then I get out and I walk on the river and I just so enjoy the peace and the harmony that that brings to me. And it shows me how beautiful Mother Nature orchestrates itself. She has everything in right order. The streams are still flowing. The flowers are growing. The sky is blue. And we can truly relax about everything that's going on. Coincidentally, one of the things that's happened for me as I've been doing these rides regularly is that I've come across a whole lot of bike trails. And so when the world opens up again, I can enhance my skill set so that I go on those bike trails to prepare myself for winning the gold in the cycling division. That feels good. So I ask you, what are you doing to have fun in your life. Really think about that, and if nothing comes to mind, put it on your calendar, set your alarm, and get ready to have some fun. And remember that being too busy is no excuse for being boring or not living your life. So I encourage you to take the challenge. Break out, be bold, have fun, and stay forever young.